Welcome back, guys. And yes, the show is still live. It's still GTV Breakfast. And we have your favorite comedians, comedians, comedian in studio. Clemente Charez is in studio, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What? What? Thank you. Ah, thank you. Ah, so how many girlfriends do you have now? Tell us. Uh, I dropped a few, so now I have like 17. And how does your wife feel about your many girlfriends? Uh, she was once a girlfriend, so she understands. So she understands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what are some of your girlfriends? Who are they? I know I fall in that category. Yes, or you, you, you are still there. Still my yes, there too. You are and five. which other, which other females are yeah. on there? Um, I have Gifty Auntie. Uh huh. Yeah, she. Gifty Auntie is your girlfriend too. Yes, please. Mm. Nanka, why? Yeah, you're my one. Uh huh. Yeah. Whether you are Henry or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 girlfriend. So Gifty Auntie is there. Mm. Um, you know Chantel. I'm not your girl. Yeah. Chantel. Now, don't they give your wife competition? No, 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 no. The thing is, you are Ankasa, you don't want to be in that position of wife seeing 17 other people fight. <laughs> so you don't want to be there. So they're okay. Everybody is fine. Okay. Mm. That's a quick one. Clemento. Yes, baby. I, I officially call you best rapper of the year. Thank you very much. Because it's I still don't know why you are not out there <laughs> making albums and hits. See, when I do my song, they think it's a comedy skit. But that's what it is. You know, but I make sure I rap. But they say, hey, Clemento, comedy video, I'm where I find part, but I'm rapping. Clemento, yeah. Me, me rap in the back when they are Friday. Sure. Once a hammer, if he has to see her, yeah, you yeah. know. So hammer needs to sign me because he's going to come back to the studios. Okay. That so should be his first rap. Let, let, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I should do my best rap. Which where's my camera? This one. Mm. Okay. Cause I had a jumbo. Oh, let me rap now. See what I do. I do. Ain't no one can I do. When you meet and time say monkey, I do. Huh? But then you oh boom on that. That be E L J Shampo Kalu. Okay. Testing mic one two. Mumu for the mummy face. Hey baby, woo woo woo. I never remember. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, guys, and so. <laughs> Stands that too, Anna. No, I'm waiting for my mumu for her to give me the fans. I'm listening. <laughs> oh, you can't have the fans. Don't be there. Ask the fans. <laughs> Clement, Thank see, you. um, how did it start for you? Some people like to call you Kukua Nancy. Eee. Who are those? No, it's a big Oh, I I just did concurrence once at the National Theatre. I don't think anybody will call me concurrence, but it's fine. I mean, it's cool. Okay. It started um, from um, secondary school where I joined the Tema. Uh, let me big up the best school in West Africa, Tema Secondary School. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the way, which school did you attend? St. Mary's Girls. St. Mary's, mm -hmm. yeah. And so I'll use this platform to tell you that if you don't get Temasco, then they take you to St. Mary's. So Temasco, and I joined the drama club, uh -huh. yeah, and then moved on to Legon, where I did um, theater arts. So that's where commercially it started because once you are in the performing arts school, mm -hmm. it's also a professional course. So you're studying and you're working as well. So, yeah. That's where everything started. Okay. You are one of the forebears when it comes to um, um, comedy that goes online, when it comes to skits. Okay. You won Best Comic Actor at the GH Comedy Awards in 2017. Mm -hmm. And a lot of um, comedians that we have spoken to, everybody mentions your name as one of, like, you hold everybody's hand. Yeah. Best Comic Actor 2017. Mm -hmm. You earned that title. Tell us about that journey. Yeah, um, I think uh, it, it, it just kind of came like they were, it was anonymous, it, unanimous. Anonymous. Everybody was like, okay, this is for Clemente's wives because they thought I had worked. And personally, I do more of theater. And so people were not really seeing what I was doing until I came on TV around 2015, 2016. Yeah. So when the 2017 awards came, everybody was like, it's just time to get it. And talking about holding everybody's hands, I think the comedy industry is very small and also burden. And so we all need to move up. So if you're fortunate enough by God's grace to get your name up there and there are other super talented acts behind you, you just need to pull them up with you so you get a, a very strong front.
restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then, thanks to um, the likes of you again, comedy has reached a setting crescendo that, like, everybody is proud. Yeah. And then, what's happening to comedy? Like, um, we, it looks promising. The future looks promising. Yeah, I, th I think so too. And thank you for recognizing that. Um, the future looks is surely promising, and the especially the stand-up comedians, mm -hmm. they are they are up in their game, and it's so refreshing to see them perform. Uh, we are only hoping and praying that there's more support from um, corporate entities and media houses like you or yours, so that we push it, mm -hmm. uh, we make it a, an agenda to push it to the other parts of the world. But aside everything, the guys are really working and they are doing it well. Okay. So for me, before I come on the air, I have to research about you. Yeah and come up with my synopsis and how this interview is going to go. W w how do you come up with your jokes, Clement? Like, right. yeah, because you highlight a lot of social issues too. Uh -huh. So how do you do that? Yeah, um, before I answer that, I want to just say thank you to you because um, in 2020 or 2019, I had an interview with you and I consider that as one of the best interviews I've ever had because you are very in-depth and you are questioning and all that I, I think you're that's why I love you. Let me give you a kiss on your Oh no, I think you are here. Mm. Nice. So um before I also go on stage, sometimes it's a scripted thing that we do. We rehearse maybe for three weeks, four weeks, two weeks. But maybe for the last week of performance, we hear certain news that everybody is talking about, a trending one. It could be political, it could be social, music, entertainment, anything. Mm. So I, understanding my character, I will know that if my character is a banker, and we are talking about money, 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 this IMF in this week, and it's buzz and everybody's talking. Yeah. So I'll find a way of putting it in, mm -hmm. even though I don't, I don't take other characters or actors by surprise. I tell them that this mm -hmm. is we can just put this in and it work better than what we used to mm -hmm. rehearse. So uh, I also do my research. I listen to news a lot. For a comedian it, to be to be a good one, you need to be smarter than your audience. So if everybody thinks that Clarence is coming to say this and you say this, but still mean this, you're you're good to go. So I also do my research a lot. Okay, now best comedian of fashion and lifestyle Ghana. That was yeah. 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. How many productions have you put together? When I say you, I mean you and your team. Mm -hmm. But I know that most of these things are led by you. How many productions have we put together? Uh, if I can say it off the top of my head, it will be because every year, we try as much as possible to do two major plays mm -hmm. at the National Theatre and other small or mini plays elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to talk about the major plays from 2016 till now, it should be about 12 or 14. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's be it. And I'm with a group called Nyansapo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Okay, now, um, do you have maybe an umbrella body? or some sort of regulatory body when it comes to comedy? For now, mm. the, the stand-up comedians have it, and they have executives, they have president, secretary, and all that. But comedy is a big thing. Mm. We have um, slapstick comedy, we have stand-up comedy, we have the comic acting. You have slapstick? Yeah. What, what's that? What's that? Th those are the... the what you, I, would, I don't want to use that. Let's say the now TikTok. Okay. It's very much there. You can see slapstick. The one that they will fall. They will, okay, okay, yeah, okay. okay, okay. All those ones. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So um, th those ones are there. So to put everything under one umbrella is going to be difficult. We have the comic acting where some of them are in the Kuma side, others are on stage, some also are with the, uh, a crowd or whatever. So it's, it's very big. We have the Bismarck, the jokes against the Kokumenus, against the Clarence Suarez, the General Tatiad. So uh, we are trying in as much as we are in the same thing, we are trying to be under one umbrella. It's going to be difficult, but we'll be there. Right. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to enjoy a video from Clemente Chavez. <laughs>
back yes and so you saw Clemento in his element um the one that you were wearing the school uniform at her, it was your wife who shot that uh, yeah 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 at that time yeah it was my wife and she she also did the other voice as well even with the corona abcd video the yeah. viral one she did that so she's supportive of you of your career yes if you don't support why are you here <laughs> What do you enjoy most about acting, Clement? Um, with acting, you get to play whatever mm. role. Maybe you've dreamt of it. You've dreamt to be a presenter. You've never, you never got the opportunity to be like Thelma or Valerie. But in acting, you may be a news anchor, a BBC, GBC, whatever. You can be a doctor, a pilot. So uh, I love the opportunity that it comes with, that you can do whatever you want to mm. do. And, and and get away with and it. Get away with yeah. it. Hmm. Have you ever had a role that maybe um, you've been called that, Masa, I, I don't like this content that you put out there? Have you had any backlash from any of your contents? Mm, not really. Not really. I haven't had backlash, but sometimes it comes with disrespect mm. from the audience like uh, the one we just saw yeah. I was playing a little boy Timothy that's a character I've created for myself mm -hmm. and people see you with your beard and mustache and all that and they think you are you are in primary school and they go ahead clear to hair bra <laughs> Somebody saw me across the street and called me to come, like, I should come across like a, like a ABCD chain. I'm like, ah, opening the seven power. I went to a school, a, a secondary school, to perform. Mm. But before they would call me there, one of the boys told me that, Konako UT. I'm like, ah. Mm. Oh, when I when I finish, we were not born. We were not even born. <laughs> Does that so, mean okay, finish? Yeah, but that's that's just it. Uh, the disrespect that comes with it. But aside that, I'm okay. Okay, it doesn't mean doesn't mean that then you you play your roles well. Then so well that everybody just identifies with you as as, as Timothy the schoolboy. Yeah, I think so. That 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 could be perfectly put that way. Um, but but then also would also want the audience to kind of decipher when the person is on stage or on TV and in normal life. Accord yes, you that respect. Seriously, if they have seen me play that role, they wouldn't like it outside. If they see me in a media pressure, oh yeah, they, they wouldn't really like it. Yeah. But because they loved it on TV, they want to push it on you outside, and that's that's it. But well, uh, I take the compliment of doing it well. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we have somebody on the phone who wants to say something to you and speak with you. Who is that? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Surprise, surprise call for Clemento Charest. Please tell us who you are and where you're calling from. Okay, my name is Yenatapia. I'm calling from Amazon. Hold on. Yeah. Ah, Jerry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, menini, menini. <laughs> so, how, how, how are you? I'm good, my brother, darling. Nice, man. I, I have to call to, 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 to say that whatever... Please, that means, please. You are right. You didn't call through. They called you. No, then I have to call through. You my, don't know GTV my, number. Hey, <laughs> don't come and lie. But I thank them to call me, so I call through. Hey, you can lie, yo. Maybe, yeah, are you a vice president? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention any vice president. You have SRC vice president. We have. Oh, why? Why, Valerie? Why are you shaking in your chair? Come on, in your journey. No. General Intatia. Yes, sir. Boss man, um, Clement, you are down for. He's been your friend. You guys have entertained us. Like back to back back to back what are those things that the words that you want to tell clement that you probably have never told him something endearing that you would wish i'm sure there are boys the everyday cow routine but you never say it out and maybe this is the right time to say to clement um is there something that i want to say that i've not told him i think he knows that i i love him so much um 
I, I, I have always been wanting to tell you that he has been a man of the people who have always been fighting for the rights of others. Sometimes Clement will put himself aside and make sure that um, the, the things that must be done for, for, for people, they do it for, for instance, if we do a production that we are supposed to be paid and the pay is delayed, Clement will have the right to go and fight for himself alone. But I will make sure that when he goes, he will fight for everybody to get their money. And that's, that, that's one thing that you cannot take away from him. Um, Clement is more than uh, a friend. I, I, I think I call him Aulumai because Clement is like a father to me. I met him at the first of the uh, when we were doing the S2S And I would say that um, Clement uh, is a Genantatia because he held my hand and then he put me in the group for that support. And um, since then, I've, I've, I've been pushing from one to another. So we love him so much. And I um, also to say that we should continue to be who we fight for people to make sure that um, it has been set to so go up the line and continue to be the best for Ghana. Thank you. Clemens, yeah. do, you have, do you have any response for your good friend? Uh, 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 I don't know what to say. He's been saying these kind of things, but I didn't, I didn't think he would want to put it out there like that. But I only try my best. I think that the talent God has given me is not for me alone. It's for Ghana and maybe Africa. And so if um, people give me some certain of certain level of respect, I would think that every creative who is in line with what I'm doing or has a better talent than even me should also be given that or accorded that respect. So that's probably why I do that. I think that people would want to sideline those who do not have the spotlight yeah. for instance you uh, you are not like that but let me just use you like you would want to interview Clemento Suarez any day you know what you but if Clemento says or if another act comes to you and says oh please I'm doing this please give me the platform they, they try to pull back a bit but GTV is not like that you've been hosting a lot of people here sometimes we have a show let me say this to another one sometimes we have a show we are not able to come for the interview for publicity we send someone and you receive them so well we send some people to other stations i want to mention because they are all watching all the stations are watching you every morning so i'm mentioning your name but valerie says i shouldn't when we send some people there, they'll say no we don't want this person we want the right we want clement to swear. and that's something that i don't really like we should push everybody we should care yeah. because tomorrow clemento might not be there anymore so you need someone to also be the face so uh general thank you and i wish that you also be doing that for other people thank you nice 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 why are you call clemento Charis? okay Clem mm -hmm. Clem clement is my name nice. original mm -hmm. and suarez is the uruguayan player but in 2010 what he did for his country i want to do some for my country <laughs> We have a call on the line. <laughs> we have another call on the line for Clement. Good morning. Another surprise caller. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Please, may we know who you are and where you're calling from? And, and good morning to the man with the big head. <laughs> the big head? Yes. Okay, Clement, can you guess who's, who's on the line? I'm not, I'm not catching the voice. Yeah, you don't cut the voice. Because your head is... Ah, I know, I know, I know him. It's who, it's who, it's who, it's who? He's like this, this whole body. <laughs> like a skipping rope. Latif Abu Bakar. When last did you see me? Do you know how fat I've grown? Oh, my friend. <laughs> Never. Do you, know how, do you know how fat I've grown? Don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't do it. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, well done. Thanks. thanks. Let, so, Latif Abubakar is is a is a playwright, and he's done amazing plays. He highlights social issues as well. Um, Latif. Yeah. Lots of people and all the vibes you are getting is Clement is, 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 is a pusher. He's always helping people up the ladder, helping, holding hands. Um, if you were to say a few words to Clement, what would those words be? 
I, I think that um, well, well, there's, there's one thing that I know about Clement. Uh, when you say good things, he goes after you. I know Clement when he was in the final year in Lagos. So, you know, when I, when I approached him that I wanted us to work together, he always has this thing in mind that we have work. Nice, nice, nice. Clement, you want to say something, respond to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Latif, like he rightly said, when when he saw me, we were in university, mm. so he was the first person to produce our play at the National Theatre. And that play went viral, which put some of us uh, in the limelight. So, Latif, thank you so much for everything you did for us those days. And thank you for what you're saying about me. I'll, I'll try and still keep working hard and be humble for God to bless me more. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> and right, and that's Latif Abubakar who joined our conversation. Now, Clement, for somebody who entertains a lot, people come to see your plays, watch your skits, to laugh and distress. I know the creative space has a lot of pressure. How do you distress? How do you entertain yourself? Yeah. I, okay, so I, I don't really have time, 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 time to go and chill and all that because Monday to Friday I have my day job, go 7.30 to 5 or whatever and then I do rehearsal evenings, I play shows weekends so it looks tight for me but the little time I'll get I uh, watch wrestling. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Who's your favorite wrestler? Brock Lesnar. Mm. I wouldn't know because I do not watch. So me. when you you <laughs> asked that who's your favorite wrestler, you don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, do you know John Cena? Yes, I know John Cena. Uh, he's not my favorite wrestler. Okay, but you, you wrestling is your favorite. Yeah, 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 I love them. Is there any Cena. particular reason why you like wrestling? Um, because um, people think that it's fake. But I see the fakeness as real because it's also scripted. It's like a movie and they are playing it in, it's like uh, stuff, theater with audience. And they make it look so real. And so I just love the creativity with it. Somebody will be beating somebody, thinking he's gonna kill the person, but they are friends actually. So I love them. I love Brock Lesnar, Kofi Kingston, uh, Roman Reigns. And yeah, so I love wrestling. You know Ray Mysterio? You don't. No, I don't. I'm not a wrestler. But here, we, there's, a, there, there's a video of Clemento coming up again. Let's stick to your comic side that I know. So it's coming up now. <laughs>
Kevin, why why not just go into the studio and just make music and go commercial already? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. Like I said, it's the time. Mm. I don't really have the time. I need to finish up with the mm. comedy thing to get there. Like Lati said, this, this is the beginning. Even though you are there, you are not there. Mm. Yeah, so you work hard to be there. Then you can add the music. I'm still doing music. I, I'll release my my single next week. What's it about? Give us a teaser. Um, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Have you heard the Bang Bang? That song. It used to be on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. that's what that's what I'm writing on. It's a mistake. Okay. Right. Yeah. So Clemento Wabing or rap him up. Rappers cause so hard ding. We see who ding ding. So what's them ding ding? Organize a show cause a quick boy ding. Give them charges five thousand eight. I'm a what about that man? I won't win ding. So I'm just a me car now. I'm in Pia Bon ting. Cause I'm in who ding. It's in the something. Honorable Wabing, you're doing a good job. Congratulations. So be a rough parliament man. Name um Susu took a just for healing. Na na do a queer a day. Um put this sheep, you know, two modern day and a back to back expensive flying. I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> Keep going, yeah, yeah, yeah. keep going. Yeah, I love it. Oh, what you say? You are not say rap. Nede be my fan easy. Attach on everything. Comedy to politics. Shouts to like it. Shifu chifu forty. Bola do me Joe Biden Ukraine to see what I put in my thing. Baby, I make it kakoni kwa podi a year me thing. Mincha sana ma Russia mumbe Biden. Sorry, man, guys. There's another video coming up. Enjoy.
Okay, we're still spending time with Clemento Chorez. Um, Clement, you have the character you coined out, which is yours, Timothy. Yeah. Why did you name it Timothy, and, and who is that character? Um, Timothy is a Sunday school boy, originally mm -hmm. a Sunday school boy. And then uh, we ha when I got out of Sunday school, we still needed to have a primary school kid, so I just transformed it to a, pri uh, a primary school boy. I did that because um, teaching Sunday school in my church, I saw some characters in the kids that I knew that if I combined it, it could work comedy mm. magic for me, so I just did that. Yeah, and my church is Apostolic Church. My pastor is Pastor Gasque. Shout outs to the way I've mentioned your name, Pastor Gasque. If I don't do offering for six months, <laughs> Mediatica, please. Yeah, so that's where I created that um, character. Right. Mm. You also work with the British High Commission. Yes, please. What, what do you do? That's your day job, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. 7.30 yeah. Uh, I work with a technical team. Okay. Yeah, so I'm an administrator. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. Finally, are we telling our own stories as Ghanaians? And if we are, are we telling it the right way? You're a creative person. You've been around. You've interacted with lots of people in production. How are we doing in that regard? Yeah, um, we've come a long way. Mm. We started, we, you see, if you check the answers, you know that they, they, they started something a lot brewed in African, African heritage and all that. And so it got to a point where if you try to tell the story in a certain way, which might be true, it might be factual, you might get the attack. Sometimes, even in comedy, if you say something, people shake, people, they call it kawa, is it kawa? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And so you, you, the, the creative is limited as to what to put out there. Mm. I shouldn't say it as it is. I should just sugarcoat it a bit. And after sugarcoating it, you realize that you end up twisting the whole facts and truth. And so it's difficult for us in this part of the world to mm. tell our stories accurately. But I think that there's this breeze blowing that uh, things will change very soon. Things will change. We will hit it hard okay. and oh. tell our stories. Okay. Okay. Um, I hear a comedian's biggest fear is going on stage and not knowing if your audience will laugh or not. Have you ever experienced that? Or have you had stage fright? Yes, I, I always, before I go on stage, there's always the butterflies, like yeah. you say, yeah. But uh, for what I do, because we do publicity way before people come there, we know that those coming to the auditorium are ready for what you're going to give them. Okay. Uh -huh. So sometimes it's a bit less. Mm -hmm. But when you are invited to go do a show somewhere, that's where the problem is. You go there maybe for CEO's conference and all, everybody's thinking about something else. <laughs> So you might say something, it will be funny for one person, the next person, mm -hmm. no, who is this? Is that supposed to be funny? Yeah, so every comedian has that fright, but um, it's okay, it's part of the job. Occupational hazards. Nice, 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 Clement. Yeah. Okay, so I like to say this, when I'm ending, if, if you were to put out a tweet, okay, this morning, what would that be, Clement? How many tweets? Just one. Three. Three, mm. the first one. Mr. President, where are the theaters you promised? The second one, GTV has the best equipment and personnel. Mm. How much are they paid? And our hashtag it. They didn't tell me anything before you start sacking them. Me and America. Then the third one will be thank you all for supporting me. My name is Clevito Suarez. I love you. We love you right back. <laughs> the hashtag is GTV Breakfast, guys. This has been our show, and we sp oh, Thelma says I should tell you that you're magnificent. Uh, Thelma, let me just say this quick. Thelma was my classmate. We were all friends. Mm -hmm. We are still friends. But she's the first person to make me know my worth, kind of. She, she used to be, yeah, 
to uh, she's from that's 2001 20, 2001 till now we are still friends she supports me through and through and i love her so much i think she's a, a, a big part of my success yeah, yeah. so i love you too selma <laughs> there she is oh. <laughs> i thought she had gone home i told oh, there you she is. <laughs> I told you, look at yeah. us now. Yeah, they I didn't believe you. in us. You did. God <laughs> did. Thank Shall you. Live. Thank you very much. You're awesome. For still supporting me since then. Thank you. I'll marry you next year. In addition to yeah. the rest. <laughs> yes, and so yeah, T and Clement have a special love affair. Yeah. And so this has been our show. Thank you for staying with us. You can catch a repeat again at 11 p.m. tonight on GTV. We'll see you again, guys, on Monday. Have a great weekend. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous.